Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you guys know, fall recently just approached us, so I thought I would create a fall glam look using green, and I also incorporated a gold cut crease liner. So if you guys are interested in seeing how you can achieve this look, then just keep on watching. So today I'm going to start with my eyes first, so I'm going to prime my eyelids with the NYX HD concealer in the number 2, and I'm just going to apply this all over my lids, and then I'm going to go in with a little brush to buff it all in. And next I'm going to use the Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie eyeshadow and I'm going to place this in my crease to use as my transition color. And remember just to use windshield wiper motions and also circular motions just to blend your shadow in evenly. And for my crease, I'm going to use the Makeup Geek Shadow in Bake Sale. And again, similar to the transition color, I'm going to buff this all over my crease. And I'm going to be a little sloppy with this. I'm not going to be too neat just because at the end, I'm going to wipe away the excess the shadow that's on the edges. And to deepen my crease, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow in Fudge. And this is a really pigmented shadow, so you want to remember to tap off the excess before you actually apply it to your eye. And next I'm going to use the brush that I use for my transition color, just to blend in the shadow just a little bit more. And again, I'm going to add a bit more of the fudge color to deepen my crease further. So today I'm going for a bit of a cut crease look, so to carve out my eyelids I'm using the NYX HD concealer again and I'm just going to apply this to about half of my lid. And to get a more precise line, I'm using a smaller detailing brush. And next, I'm using the Naked Cosmetics Urban Rustic Stack in the shade UR03. This is a really pretty shimmery green. Since this is a loose pigment, I'm patting it on my eyelids. And with a bit of a smaller brush, I'm going back in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Fudge just to deepen my outer V. And remember, you don't have to be too neat with this because at the end you are going to clean it up with a makeup wipe. And for the glitter cut crease, I am using the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in the shade Midnight Cowboy, which is a really nice gold glitter. And now with a makeup wipe, I'm going to clean out the fallout from under my eyes and I'm also going to clean up the edges of my eyeshadow to make it nice and crisp. Now 
Now moving on to my face, I'm first going to use the Too Faced Hangover Primer and I'm just going to apply this all over my face. And following that, I am using the e.l.f. Illuminating Face Primer in the shade Radiant Glow. And I'm also applying this all over my face. And today, I decided to use two different foundations. I'm mixing the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Nude, and also the e.l.f. foundation in Porcelain. There's no specific reason why I'm using two different foundations. I honestly just felt like it. So feel free to only use one foundation. And with the Wet Beauty Blender, I am just going to buff this all in. And you want to remember to blend the foundation towards your ears and also down your neck just so it doesn't look like you have a mask sitting on your face. And next using the NYX HD concealer and also using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Neutral, I'm just going to apply this to my under eyes to conceal the dark circles and I'm also going to use this as a highlighter and I'm going to place that on the middle of my forehead down the bridge of my nose and also on my chin. And I'm also going to use it a tiny bit to spot conceal. To set my under eyes, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and I'm going to use the setting shade Sand and I'm just going to place this under my eyes to make sure that it doesn't crease. And now I'm going to finish my eyes. So I'm going to use Peach Smoothie, Bake Sale, and Fudge. To highlight my inner corner, I am using the Makeup Geek Eyeshadow in Shimma Shimma. And I'm also using the Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel Crayon in the black shade. Off camera, I quickly did my brows and I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo in Chocolate and the Tinted Brow Gel. I'm using the Shimma Shimma shade, I'm also going to put this on my brow bone. And to bronze my face, I'm using the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. And again, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit to contour my face and I'm using the shade Fawn which is the lightest shade and I'm just going to carve out my cheekbones and I'm going to place a bit on my forehead and also on my jawline. The blush that I'm using today is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush and Peaceful. And then to highlight my face, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter in Metal Moon. And with a fan brush, I'm just going to apply this to the tops of my cheeks, down the bridge of my nose, and also on my cupid's bow. And last for my eyes, I am using the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, and I'm applying this to both my upper and lower lashes. And to finish it off, I am using the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. To last but not least, I'm finishing off with the Kat Von D Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Bone Arrow.
And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next one.